World's most interesting borders. Residents of Narco Arizona and Narco Mexico play volleyball with each other over a fence between the USA and Mexico. That is so nice. So that's USA on the left and then Mexico over on the right and it's a little fence and the ball goes whoop, 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 whoop. Oh my God, that's incredible. Slovakia, Austria and Hungary and there's a three-way bench. Oh, I really want to sit on that bench. I love a bench and having a bench where I could lie across the top and be in three different countries is incredible. Mwah. Whoa, that one's badass. Norway and Sweden and then it's a big long path up a mountain that you could like snowboard down. That is incredible. Netherlands and Belgium, right? This is quite a famous one. For some reason, the Belgium and Netherlands borders are just ridiculous. There's all kinds of like tiny enclaves and exclaves. So they've got these markings everywhere and you can see that this bit of the restaurant is in the Netherlands and then this bit on the right is in Belgium. And in some cases like this one, the border literally passes through people's houses. So it meant the Belgium and the Netherlands had to come up with this rule where basically if your front door's here in Belgium, but like most of your house is in the Netherlands, because your front door's in Belgium, you are classed as being from Belgium. So you have to pay all your taxes to Belgium and stuff. So one particular guy literally ended up moving the position of their front door just so they could change which country they were from. Haiti and the Dominican Republic distinguished by their radically different environmental protection laws. So I don't know what those environmental laws are, but this is the Dominican Republic side. So maybe in Haiti, you're allowed to chop down whatever trees and foliage you want. And you can see the negative effect that's had on the nature around that area. It's sad, but it's cool to visualize, isn't it? Poland and Ukraine, they've got big fish. <laughs> Do you know what? This has nothing to do with borders, but it reminds me of a really cool fossil I've got that I'm going to show you. Wait there. This is my new fossil box. It's full of fossils. Look at this. It's a 51 million year old fish fossil. <laughs> I got it cheap because it's got a crack through the middle. And that's why it reminds me of the border between Poland and Ukraine. Zipline connects Spain and Portugal. That's so epic. Can you imagine? You get on your zipline, you go, woo, and you're in another country. Fantastic. I like to imagine you have to have your passport and your visa like in your hand as you go down and like someone just confirms it on the way past. Wouldn't that be incredible? Whoa, that's pretty striking. This is a different area of the USA and Mexico border. And it is so much more urbanly built up and compact over on the Mexico side. Mexico is obviously a lot smaller than the US, so they don't have as much free space willy-nilly. That is crazy seeing the difference so close to each other. Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay all separated by this big fat river. That is a fat river, I'm not gonna lie. Macau drives on the left side of the road, whereas mainland China drives on the right. So this is what they do at the border. They've had to create like a penis-shaped road. That is mental. I mean, it's clever and I imagine it'd be pretty scary to drive on but it's crazy to look at. Yes another USA versus Mexico border and once again we're seeing something similar but from a bird's eye view. This one in particular is ridiculous though. If anything it's kind of sad isn't it? Because obviously I could be wrong but I assume this isn't particularly good housing and it's very small and it's just a shame to see so much free space so close yet so inaccessible. Denmark and Sweden. That's a pretty one. They've got a big fat bridge between them. That's beautiful. Sweden and Norway. Look at that. He's got one leg, one arm, one testicle in each country. I feel like I've talked about male genitalia far too many times in this video. I don't know why it keeps coming up. Germany and the Czech Republic showcase two different approaches to bark beetle infestation. Silvicultural intervention versus international neglect. Right, so some kind of like tree disease was just left to run rampant in the Czech Republic, but in Germany they managed to get on top of it. I assume that's what they're saying. And it's interesting to see it side by side. Although I will say international neglect sounds a bit harsh to the Czech Republic when we don't know all the context here. Spain and Portugal. Ah, so it literally ends like at the road that way. So Portugal's roads aren't as fancy looking as Spain's in this particular area. The lines literally just completely stop. Egypt and Israel. Right, we are so high in the air here. This is our highest image by far. And what's very interesting is the sand or the rock or whatever the terrain is, is literally a different color on that line. I wonder what causes that. Germany, Poland, and Czechia. Do you know what? I would love to do some Jack Sucks Geography videos where we go to some of these borders. Like imagine if we could actually go to that weird Netherlands, Belgium town and be an annoying little tourist. It'd be amazing. Whoa, North Korea versus South Korea. Right, so if I'm understanding the map correctly, North Korea's here, and for whatever reason, North Korea just don't have any lights on. That one's a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Golden Triangle between Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos. I like these triangular borders. Very, very nice. There's something satisfying about them. Adrian's Wall, Scotland's next to England. Built because the Romans were afraid of the Scots. No, I've never been to Adrian's Wall, even though I only lived like a couple of hours away from it. I'll have to go because it's like a more accessible, way naffer, Great Wall of China. <laughs> Austria and Slovenia at the Alpine border. The snow has been polite enough to stay only on the Austrian side. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, this isn't a country border. This is a continental border. Asia versus Europe. So this is in Russia. I wonder how they work out which bit of Russia is Asian and which bit's European. The India and Pakistan border visible from space. Right, so I, 
I'm assuming it's this big long line there. So they must just have lights all the way along. Is that why? Oh, it looks it looks a bit intense. Yeah, okay. USA and Canada. See, isn't it a bit sad that that's what the USA Canada one looks like compared to the USA Mexico one? Berlin, the light bulbs still show the east slash west division from orbit. Okay, I don't know tons about Berlin history, but I'm assuming this is where the Berlin Wall used to be. So is it literally that they just use different kinds of light bulbs then? That's so interesting that from that high up, you can still see a difference so many years on. David has a good point though. So you're telling me they haven't changed their light bulbs since 1989. What's going on? Bangiok waterfall at the border between Vietnam and China. Right, I mean, that's too nice, isn't it? I don't like when the water looks so nice that it just looks animated. It's too much for me, to be honest. Haskell Public Library between Quebec and Vermont. So it literally goes through the middle of the library. I want to see it on a map. Yes, look at that. Look at it right on the border. Oh my God, and there it is. The border literally goes right through it. Oh, that's so satisfying. I don't even know why. Oh, they've drawn an actual line. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, look at this one. Iran and Iraq border. And you can still see various wall lines 26 years later. So I assume when people are fighting, they got to move a bit forward and then they had to retreat for various reasons. And this just created all of these lines. That is sad. Border between Alaska and Canada. Why is it so different looking on this side? The snow's all manky there and the snow's so pretty on that side. What's that about? Slovakia versus Poland, main ridge of the high Tatras mountains. So the border works all the way along the peak of the mountain. It's quite a bit friendlier and more geographically satisfying to just base your borders off something that was already there before you decided that you owned this and someone else owned that bit over there. You know what I mean? The Friendship Bridge on the border of Vietnam and China over on that side. Well, that's a nice name, isn't it? Very nice. <laughs> this box divides France and Spain. Well, it doesn't do a very good job, does it? Because, like, if I'm stood there, am I in France? Am I in Spain? Why well, have you got a box? You need a wall or, or a fence or something, France and Spain. That's not helping anyone, mate. Switzerland and Liechtenstein. Wow. So you think about Liechtenstein being like a really tiny place, but then you see this and you realize the world's just massive. So even though comparatively Liechtenstein is a tiny country, it'd still take you a while to walk about it, wouldn't it? But you know what? That was actually really fascinating and I want to do more stuff like this. So if you've got suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you all later.